Hey guys, so welcome back to Joe's RC Corner and today we're back out in the garage. Uh, we're actually going to be working on the cruiser today, so make sure you stay tuned. Okay, guys, so welcome back. Uh, like I said, we're back at, in, in the uh, hangar. We got a lot of work done here um, in, the, in the space. Uh, basically, to get it prepped and everything for uh, continuing work on the cruiser. Because uh, as you guys know, we are now in the spring season. It's going to start getting hot out here in the uh, southwest New Mexico. So as you guys are aware, we went ahead and we installed a, um, a mini split in the garage here. And we also uh, insulated the garage door in the last couple of videos. Uh, the final part of the redo here in the garage, uh, as you can see, is the addition of a 32-inch TV. It's a TCL 1080p uh, television. Uh, I didn't need anything 4K or anything huge out here in the garage. This is plenty. I uh, work doubles as a monitor for my Mac Pro and also uh, I can do uh, maybe some streamings out here uh, since now I got my microphone and everything here. I wanted to get a little bit of uh, decoration so we got a shelf up here with a sound bar that's connected to the television because it does produce a little bit more sound but it also uh, does double duty. It is also a uh, connection for my uh, Echo Dot. So now I can play music through that as well. It sounds really good uh, for the price. Uh, as you can see behind me, I have a uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I believe it is the uh, Experimental Aircraft uh, channel. Uh, very good channel. really like watching his show, so uh, make sure you uh, check it out. I'll leave the link down in the description as well. Anyways, moving on. So today's task on the cruiser, uh, we're going to be working on... Uh, and I've been saying this for quite some time, we're gonna get that interior prepped and hopefully primed uh, this weekend. So that is the plan. We're gonna get it primed and uh, maybe even get the paint uh, on the interior done. The uh, other thing I wanna kinda of go over is uh, I'm, I'm working on my, my panel design and I was gonna go ahead and cut it out myself and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up over on the side here so we can see it a little bit better. So uh, hang on just a second. All right guys, so now that I got the uh, panels propped up here, I printed out some of the uh, uh, you know, actual sizes of the items that are gonna be, gonna be uh, on my panel. So as we know, I went with the Grand Rapids uh, Avionics 10 inch panel here. Um, this is gonna look really nice in this panel and I'm lo really looking forward to it. Um, the we got the EIS system which technically I don't need to have out here um, originally I was gonna have it on the outside for one reason and one reason only it was gonna provide me with the uh, attitude and or, I'm sorry airspeed and altitude um, however the version that I got that does not have that so I'm not really sure it's worth doing the panel out here uh, I may just remote mount that since all of that data is being fed to the EFIS, keep things a little bit cleaner. Uh, plus give myself a little bit more real estate rather than having this here. Uh, of course, I am using the, um, um, the Trig, uh, I believe it's the Y91 or 92, uh, and it's, gonna, it's a remote mount and it has a little faceplate that's going to be on the outside facing uh, the pilot. Uh, so I'm thinking about putting that there. Now here's the real uh, nice piece of equipment that I went ahead and added, um, and I went ahead and purchased it. Um, I was originally going to wait and uh, upgrade the GPS later on, but I went ahead and purchased that one Garmin 175 uh, from Aircraft Spruce that's gonna interface with the, uh, uh, with the Grand Rapids. And the reason for it is I will be able to do um, approaches, GPS approaches, uh, and there the new version of the approaches, which the name uh, completely slips my mind right now. Um, but uh, it has uh, minimums down to 200 feet. Um, so uh, that's going to be a great addition. Uh, I'm not building a IFR machine. 
I'm not gonna be flying this into IMC. It's a VFR airplane, but I will have the capabilities of performing uh, GPS approaches and do uh, IFR departures um, if I'm so in an area that I'm getting stuck and I need to get out of there. I'll also be able to maintain my currency on my IFR certificate, which is gonna be great uh, with this airplane. So uh, it's gonna be a nice option to have on the plane and I figured might as well just put it in now, get it done, make it the way I want to and that way I don't have to spend money and time later on. So uh, that's the plan, guys. Now, I also made this panel. It's gonna be a, a separate piece, as you can see. Uh, this is gonna be screwed into this panel. Now, I am debating, uh, I watched uh, Mark on Kit Plane Enthusiast. He mentioned um, Aircraft Specialties, I believe is the uh, name of the company. Uh, and I've reached out to him about uh, having my panel cut. Now, I'm gonna be talking to him next week. I'm gonna give him a phone call and we're gonna take a look, see what, what the price is for one and what I need to know right now uh, because I do wanna make it the two, type, two panel pieces um, and I gotta decide whether I need to make it into uh, sections or just have one full panel that I can slide, pull forward. Um, but with that, I still need to decide, am I going to leave these little corners here? Because that's where the throttle is going to be, is on this side. And uh, same with my flap. And uh, I believe I'm going to put my trim uh, also over here. So that would be very helpful. Uh, maybe leave just these edges uh, permanent. Or, or maybe I may just cut it here and have this section. Because this here is going to be an iPad. And it's going to be on one of the uh, panel... Um, the RAM mounts that so I can angle it and move it around and then upgrade very easily to another one uh, down the road. Before I get to that stage, uh, I am going to go ahead and get the uh, interior prepped for paint. So that's what today's job is. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. You guys, and also uh, before we get started, make sure you visit the bonfire link down below. You can go ahead and purchase a t-shirt. It's got the logo for the L750 Cricket on the front and also Garber Designs L750 on the back. So uh, make sure you uh, visit the, the link down below, help support the channel, and go ahead and purchase a t-shirt. All the proceeds are gonna write, going right back into making these videos for you guys. So uh, let's get back to work on the cruiser, guys. guys so uh we're back uh as you saw in the time lapse we got uh, quite a bit done here we uh i'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around let you guys see what we got done and uh see where we are all right so if you guys remember before what i mentioned uh in regards to the uh these rib nuts um the aluminum ones they they end up being pulled the threads get pulled right through uh and you can't get it tight enough to go around the aluminum so what I did is I ended up going back and uh, we replaced them all with uh, stainless steel ones. 
Uh, so that way I can get them nice and tight with the uh, with with the rib nut gun. And uh, by doing that, uh, they worked out really nice. None of them spin. I can get the bolts in and out. And if you recall, we also are going to upgrade the the screws here to these. These are 832. And uh, as you can see, they fit in very nicely and they go in nice. So uh, all the holes, I did have to chase all of the holes with a, um, an 832 tap, uh, just to make sure that uh, the threads are all nice and clean. The next thing that we're gonna do for this is we're gonna make sure that the holes are big enough on on here for the 832 screws so i do need to open up those screws a little the holes a little bit but those will look really nice uh on here now the top ones i'm going to use 832 button heads up here because this is going to be on the top side i want to have that a little bit smooth but this i think will give it a nice look to the side uh with those nice bolts there um i'm going to go ahead and get these riveted in place here to this wall I'm going to rivet this together and we're going to rivet over here and get that rip, uh, riveted together as well. And I think what I'm going to end up doing is a piano hinge right along back here. So once I get all this unscrewed, I can then flip it up um, and uh, that'll get the back up and out of the way after I remove the front. So I do need to, uh, so these front ones are going to go through here. Uh, again, we're going to use the uh, button heads for this. And what they're going to attach to is this one. So this one's going to have the threaded part. So I do need to get that done before we paint it. Um, so this will be right here. We'll have the rib nuts in that. And then the button heads will then screw into this across the top. And uh, so once you unscrew this one, you pull this one out. And then that one, you'll unscrew. I know there's tons of screws, but hopefully it won't need to get in here very often. We'll unscrew all of that. And then that will be able to be tilted back so I can still have access for inspection in the center channel. So, so today is gonna be cleaning all of this up and uh, we're gonna get this ready for primer. And then maybe we'll get the, uh, the plastic tarp up and around on the floor underneath it and so on. Get this all prepped and ready to paint. And uh, then we'll go ahead and get this all started and get it cleaned up and ready for the primer stage. So uh, there you go, guys. So, we've gotten a lot done. I got the interior basically prepped for paint. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn the camera around, let you take a look, see what we got done. And uh, maybe this weekend we can get that primer and paint on there. So uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, so as you can see, we got most of this all scuffed up really, really nicely now. Uh, this is all ready for primer. I got everything taped off inside here for the controls. I do have to still remove, I'm sorry, the, uh, the, the flap control motor, but we'll get that removed. And then uh, everything else here is ready to all go. Right guys, so that's all we have done for today. I'm gonna go ahead and get that plastic up off camera. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. If you're uh, new to the channel, make sure you also hit that notification bell. So that way you get notified when the next video is, uh, is posted. But uh, yeah, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you go ahead and visit the bonfire link. Uh, link is in the description. Purchase a t-shirt, help support the channel, help support the build, and I'll see you guys on the next video. So uh, without further ado, keep building, keep flying, guys. Okay, guys, so welcome back. This is uh, just kind of the end of the video here, uh, but I wanted to, uh, got some paint on me. 
Uh, just wanted to show you uh, really quickly what we got done. Um, I'm really happy with how this uh, this paint that I got uh, lays out and lays down really good. Makes even a bad painter look somewhat decent. Uh, but I'm also getting a little bit better at mixing the paints. Um, and uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around, let you guys take a look, see what, uh, what kind of paints I used. Okay, guys, so uh, the paint I'm using, as you guys are all aware of, I'm going with an olive drab. So uh, I went ahead and used the uh, Custom Shop series, the Hot Rod Flats. Uh, got it on Amazon, it uh, seems to be pretty decent. It's a urethane, one stage paint uh, with, a, uh, with a hardener. Now I did reduce it uh, just a little bit with uh, some of the Eastwood uh, urethane reducer. Uh, and then the primer that I'm using is the epoxy primer uh, from Eastwood as well. Uh, so that stuff lays out really nice. Uh, just using a, uh, a cheap gun, uh, but unlike uh, you know some, I'm going with a military paint scheme, so I'm not worried about it being perfect, perfect, but I want it to look good. So. Let's go inside here, the uh, makeshift pink booth here. Uh, and uh, hope, oh man, that looks really nice on camera. So as you can see, we got the whole back there is all primed on the inside now. Uh, all these panels uh, and, uh, or actually painted, I'm sorry, painted with the olive drab. Uh, and I went along this edge here. The piece that's gonna go on top of that, I'm gonna just leave that raw aluminum on top of that part. I think that's gonna look nice. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with this. It came out really good. And uh, the seat base bases are over here and those are also painted in the olive drab uh, as well. So I'll be able to permanently mount all of this in there now. Uh, I'm gonna run the, I'm gonna get the wire and uh, run up to the front before I finish this uh, section up here. But uh, yeah, so I'm really happy with it. Um, might need to do one more coat on here just to make sure I get it all because I, I, I noticed here through the camera that this little corner right there is missed in there and then a little bit on that front ledge there. So we're going to have to touch that up. Uh, but yeah, getting underneath all this stuff was kind of hard, uh, even getting in behind all of these. Uh, so I went ahead, I cut a hole through the back uh, where I was taping that hole off, reached through and uh, went ahead and sprayed in there. But yeah, we're going to let this cure. And uh, if I have to, I'll mix up a little bit to brush on in these areas uh, on both sides uh, because I can mix that paint to brush as well. Uh, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, and again, same thing up here. But again, this you're not going to see much, so I'm not going to go crazy nuts over that. But yeah, so there we go. She's olive drab now on the interior. As soon as we get ready, we'll be prepping for the exterior to be painted soon. Okay, guys, so that's all we have for this week. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when the next video is posted on the uh, Cricut. And uh, make sure you visit the Bonfire store, as mentioned previously, down below. And uh, purchase a t-shirt, help support the channel. So uh, see you guys on the next uh, video. Bye now.